Israel blows up homes of teen kidnapped suspects The family homes of men suspected over the deaths of three kidnapped Israeli teenagers have been blown up. Troops set off explosions in the West Bank buildings, blowing open a doorway in one, an army spokeswoman said. The other property was on fire after the blast. Israeli fighter jets also bombed dozens of sites in the Gaza Strip. Hours after knowing to take revenge on the killers of the three hitchhikers. A man was shot dead after allegedly throwing a grenade at troops attempting to arrest a militant in the Jinnin refugee camp. The Israeli teenagers' bodies were found under a pile of rocks in an isolated spot near Hebron, three weeks after they went missing. Dial Yifrek, 19 and 16-year-olds Gilad Shahar and Naftali Frankel disappeared on June 12 while hitchhiking home from the Jewish school where they were studying. Their bodies were found by soldiers after the biggest Israeli ground operation inside the West Bank in nearly a decade. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu blamed the Islamic militant group Hamas for the atrocity and said the teenagers were kidnapped and murdered in cold blood by human animals. Hamas is responsible and Hamas will pay, he said. Hamas, which controls the Gaza Strip, has denied any involvement in the kidnappings, although a spokesman said, threats don't scare Hamas and if Mr. Netanyahu wages a war on Gaza, the gates of hell will open on him. An advisor to Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said the country was committed to peace so that no mother or no family will be bereaved for the loss of their beloved ones, whether Palestinian or Israeli. However, Mark Regev, a spokesman for the Israeli government, told Sky News, President Abbas says he's committed to peace, reconciliation and fighting terrorism and yet he's in an alliance with terrorists who kidnap and murder children. When he chose to form a pact with Hamas, he was turning his back on his own commitment to fighting terrorism. Hamas is part of a family of terrorist movements, such as Hezbollah in Lebanon and ISIS in Iraq, who are well known for their violence and their extremism. President Abbas has to decide whether he's with them or with the path of peace and reconciliation. About 400 suspected Hamas militants were arrested as Israeli airstrikes hit 34 targets inside the Gaza Strip. The homes of chief suspects Marwan Khwazmay and Amir Abusha, who are still on the run, were also destroyed, witnesses told the AFP news agency. Israeli security officials are expected to discuss possible further military action after an emergency meeting on Monday. Overnight, thousands of Israelis gathered in Telephone Aviv's central Rabin Square to sing, pray and light candles. It came as Secretary of State John Kerry condemned the despicable terrorist act as an outrage beyond any understanding or rationale. As a father. There are no words to express such a horrific loss that shakes all people of conscience, he added. The United States President Barack Obama said the murders were senseless but warned against retribution that could further destabilize the situation.